How sad has your life gone recently? Because I'm recording a Minecraft Let's Play, <laughs> for which I woke up at 6 a.m. only for it not to work, and then I had to re-record everything. <laughs> <laughs> this site must be familiar to you. <laughs> if you've been playing Minecraft for any amount of time, you've seen this place before. Even if you don't know exactly where, even if it looks a little different. This is the title screen, up until version, I'm pretty sure, 1.13. This was the original title screen of the game. It's been part of everyone's memories, really. You can't really look at this and not have a bit of nostalgia for how Minecraft used to be like. <laughs> Hello, my fellow drumsticks. I'm Snare, and welcome. In today's video, I will be showing you my Minecraft world, made on the very title screen seed, which was found by a team of amazing Minecraft players who dedicated a lot of time to finding it. Um, for those who are not familiar, the title screen uh, used to be this panoramic picture that would rotate. It was taken by Notch and in reality what happened is he just loaded up a random seed, uh, took the picture, found the spot, took the picture and then deleted it and he doesn't actually know the seed, no one knew the seed anymore. Up until some really skilled Minecraft players who are amazing at maps and world generation and game dev and stuff like that figured out the seed by looking at the displacement of grass, the displacement of clouds in the sky, at the tree spawning, at where flowers spawned, and stuff like that. And they actually managed to find the version and the world itself, which in my opinion is batshit crazy. So obviously when that video of them having found it out came out, I was compelled to try and play on this world, and this is what came of it. Now, the thumbnail is a bit... <laughs> a bit clickbaity. I haven't really been on this world for like, one year. It's technically been two years, but I've only been playing on it actively for one year. So yeah. As you can see, I'm waiting for the sunset, <laughs> because there's something really special for you to see. Um, this is where I started my base, as you can see I have a lot of really pretty buildings made in that very version. Now, right now this place isn't really finished, there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been finished because it was really hard to build back then. If you go down, here's one of my first storage systems with an actual open air, you know, exit, it looks so pretty. You'll, you'll see at when it turns night that it's even prettier. Let's see, did it turn night? It did. Then it's my time to show you something really beautiful. This little lake <laughs> is full of torches and a glowstone rimming, which makes it glow during the night and it lights it up so beautifully. And I'm in absolute love with how it looks. If we go down, I'll show you from underneath too. The night looks really pretty from inside of here as well. If you just take a look, the stars are absolutely fantastic. I really love this. And if we look, it's just a big, big place. All of this was mined out in that very version meaning that it had no enchantments and no uh, like stronger tools than diamond. So yeah, not only that, but I couldn't repair my tools. So I had to just use the basic diamond stuff. If we go around here, you're gonna see that it's it's really pretty at night. Um, a really cute desert temple, yeah. And a tree farm. All this, as I said, was built back in that one point something version. I'm not really sure what version it was, but it was back in the 2011 version. So it's really old. It must have been pre-release even. If you go through this really pretty tree farm that I made, which during the day, the light spills through these little beams and it's really nice. It has a really 
really pretty ambiance. Now, there is something very special here. Um, so I'll just, I'll just turn around slowly. <laughs> it's, it's a glass desert. <laughs> this is one of my biggest builds ever in the entirety of my Minecraft survival world. What this is, is a desert that I quarried, including the sandstone. Now, I started quarrying it back yet again in the 2011 version. And it was just like a small little rectangular quarry. And I was thinking like, man, if I dug out a bit more of the desert, I didn't know actually how big it was, you're going to see. Um, I could probably make like a little glass bridge above it and like I could walk above it. It would be really, uh, really cute. And, you know, I updated it. And I was like, you know, I could actually replace all of the sand with glass. And here we are. It took me about a month. And I did all of this during <laughs> during school, during classes. You know, we had physics and my teacher would blab on. And I would just be building here, digging out, cutting stuff. I was also helped by my friends because I had a Minecraft server. So they would join me and we would do stuff together. It was really enjoyable. Yes, there is a mob spawner here. This place is very nostalgic for me. And it might be for you as well because, you know, it's like a revamped version of the tile screen. If you go down here, uh, there is a mine here as well. Sadly, there were some projects in here, but they were never finished. I do intend on finishing them, but I'm not sure if anytime soon. This used to be a spa, never finished. And here is the actual mine. This is an actual build. But as you can see, it's not really done. The idea behind it is you're going to see here that um, there is these ridges in the wall. And then the torches come from behind the ridge. It looks very warm and interesting as you're going down it. That's the point of this build. It's just hallways and hallways of torches. A lot of these buildings had a purpose back then. That was, you know, something like, um, like farms and such. But... Um, in the end, a lot of the functionality from them was cut out because stuff didn't work the way it does now in that version, which is really a shame, but, you know, it kept me building still. The last place is this underground uh, wheat farm. Now, you can see I have no wheat in here, and uh, the reason is that back then, when you actually um, placed crops, after a while they would pop off even if you had water near them. It was very unintuitive to have such a big farm. The plan was to never actually really collect the crops, but rather just leave them here for, for like prettiness. You can see here when I converted the world, I converted it when the nether update came out, the chests actually split up, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, there's the skeleton spawner in here. Uh, it's really cool. The ceiling was made with wool. And the thing about wool back then is that uh, passive mobs like sheep and cows would despawn. <laughs> Meaning that if you wanted light blue wool, you had to get the light blue dye, dye the sheep, collect its wool, and then hope that it doesn't despawn before it eats another piece of grass, you know? So I would just leave and they would despawn sometimes. Sometimes I would get two shears out of them. But you can, and you can just imagine how much wall this is if it was made back then when you had to run around and find sheep but you can see it's really pretty um you can't really see this but behind these leaves there's oak logs you can see now the reason behind it is because um leaves back then even if you place them down they would still decay so you had to actually place down the wood next to them like right next to them and then they wouldn't despawn it's unintuitive and sort of stupid but you know that's how it was. Now, moving forward, outside of the old 2011 version, once I updated it, I actually built in a new zone. And I want to show you that. Let's go there. So this nether portal, I did make back in the 2011 version. And the creation is really old. Um, one of the biggest problems I faced going to the nether is ghasts. They're really dangerous. You know, you couldn't actually shoot them down and you couldn't run. 
So what would end up happening is you would go collect glowstone and they would keep shooting at you. And because bows back then weren't as strong as they are now, they couldn't shoot as far. Um, you couldn't kill them. Back then, bows, you could just spam arrows, which some would say is really OP. But it's only OP for close-up combat because you, you couldn't actually shoot very far. So ghasts were really strong. One of the things that I really enjoyed about the old versions of Minecraft is simply the fact that you could build stuff very um, simplistically and you wouldn't feel like it's bad because you know you, it's not possible to build more than what you did. Now, in contrast to that, this new area is very detailed and uh, different. So this is it. The Desert City. It doesn't really have a name yet, but you can see the style that I went for is radically different from what I did in the 2011 area. It's this weird like sandstone with acacia with diorite. It's interesting mix of colors and color palettes. Now this one isn't done. And it's very early on in the build, you know, like I've only finished this, this first one. As you can see, it looks really pretty in my opinion. This is a story system place. It's not a system. <laughs> it's not a system. Uh, if we go inside at the top level, you can see that I opted for acacia at the top and then just sandstone at the bottom, which creates a really pretty contrast. Also, these, this room light in here mixes in really well. This is my room. It's really pretty. And you can see it has a really beautiful acacia ceiling with beautiful light. <laughs> Roar. So if we go here, you can see that I'm using a lot of primary colors mixed in with this gray, which I really like with the flowers, I mean. And that's really what makes this so special. This is actually just it for the world tour because there's nothing else that I did. There's technically China over there, but that's not really a, a place. <laughs> there's um, a place over there that's ivy stalls. There's my sheep farm that I never finished, but those are just unfinished projects that are very, very early on in their stages and it's not even worth showing. So going forward with this, what am I going to do with this let's play? Well, my plan is to just continue building in all of my areas. And that's really what I want to focus on is the building aspect. I'm not really a good redstone, uh, redstoneer, whatever you would call it. I'm mostly good at building and that's what I enjoy doing. So that's exactly what I'll do. Whenever it comes to redstone, I'll try and avoid showing it in a video. Um, and instead I'll just show you building uh, processes and fun stuff like that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I will also invite my friends over to build in this world. It's the server that we'll be playing on is really shabby because it's done using, uh, what's it called? Open to LAN. You can see. <laughs> and I already have projects prepared for the next episodes. <laughs> so how about we go back to the 2011 area and I give you a little taste for how an episode would go in terms of building. So what happened earlier, well, actually yesterday was I started recording and I showed the entire world and then I saw that my entire recording was actually fucked and it was laggy. So I had to re-record everything. So now we technically got to the point where I'm starting to build. Last time when I recorded, I actually did this entire trimming and I did a lot of flowers and I was planning on doing much more here. But seeing how I already did most of the important side of this, let's try and build something else. Over here, we have a path with gravel that it just stops, it just pauses. What I really wanna do is extend it all the way over um, around the hill. So I'll show you which way. Go around here. Then through here, then it would cut through here. Hopefully not cutting away any of this. 
sand because I love this weird generation. And like so, it would stop here where this glass is. So that's my plan for this episode. Hopefully I can get it somewhat done. So let's start building. The design for it is not going to be this one. It's actually going to switch. And I'll show you which design it will switch to. This one. So it's this very simple, cute, and it's just easy to do and it doesn't take many materials. Stone slabs and cobblestone, some torches, and that's about it. And a bit of creativity. <laughs> so what I should do is probably cut through here into this cave. Yeah, I'll cut it into here through this cave and then start the design over here somewhere. So I guess the, uh, the gravel path would go up and then uh, this other um, design would start. And here I have some materials prepared. As you can see. So I have tons of cobblestone and um, that's about it that I need. I should probably continue this into the mountain. Yeah, like up until here. Then I'll let the this corner take over like the normal mountain and then yeah. Oh, I did not show you this area. Huh. Now it's time for you to see. So this was used to be as my plan board sort of before switching to the newer version. And I even had like what to do once I switch. It's really cool. Um oh, yeah. <laughs> which I used up obviously. Another cool thing is because cooked pork chops back then where, um, you know, there was no hunger, there was only health, they would actually heal you so they couldn't stack. And here we are. Uh, let's see if I have gravel. I do. Let's take a few stacks. Uh, this used to be my storage system, my main bulk storage system. You couldn't put chests next to each other back then, so I had to separate them like by a block each. <laughs> Very weird Minecraft shenanigans back then, but you know, that's how it is. I have to say, I think I'll always be proud of the way this area looks. Even in this newer version, I think it's just beautiful. One, like one of my most beautiful builds ever, because it's just so, you know, like uh, it's just full of soul. <laughs> okay, let's get to building, yeah. Ow. I have to say, I really love the additions that they made in Minecraft um, over the years. I, I'm, I was never the type to, you know, feel like Minecraft doesn't um, suit an update, you know, like I never felt like magic wasn't intended for Minecraft and stuff like that. Um, so I'm really happy with the new updates, but I also feel nostalgic to the old ones. <laughs> I used to uh, play Minecraft, I think, probably like... 2012 when I got into Minecraft if you can believe that so I'm really like a sort of veteran I didn't actually play the game up until 2014 or something up until 1.7.4 that's when I got it I know that version because it's you know when I bought it <laughs> um, and you know it means a lot to me I want the tower to sort of start like yeah, like over here, right on this path. This is where the top should be. Uh, this might just cut through the temple. That would be really cool, actually. There we go. Okay, let's see the shape for uh, from a bit further away. Oh, good God, I hate Endermen. I really like this design actually, it's really nice. And it also keeps part of the terrain that I like inside. Let's uh, start designing it then. Uh, let's go here, so this would be uh, the center. So it would go like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. So 
So over here would be slabs. You know what's funny? Back in the old version, I couldn't actually place slabs like upwards like this because when you place them, they would always place like this first and then you couldn't place them above. So that's a funny little, I don't know, tidbit for you. I really love cobblestone for just how simple of a block it is. In my opinion, at least it's like it's it doesn't look too great. I agree, but it's very nice, you know. Okay. Oh, that's really cute. Looks really good. Here it would go like so. Uh, let me craft some more stone slabs. Wait. Smooth. I just for I forgot. You need smooth stone to make stone slabs. <gasps> no. Okay, so this is sort of how it's going to look. Then I'll um I'll continue working and I'll just show you like little tidbits of what I do. Alrighty, so I'm back. I'm just going to show you real quick what I did. I expanded all of this roof now, so it's easier for me to know where um, the rest of the sections are gonna go, right? So this is really good, it looks really nice. And you can see it bends really nicely too. And that's about it. Um, I'm gonna continue now building a bit more of this, you know? This is why we're building a wall. Oh, that sounds... That sounds sort of bad. Just to keep the pillagers out. Dirty pillagers. I mean, pillagers are dirty. Do you think pillagers shower? I don't think pillagers shower, to be honest. Have you seen their bases? They're disgusting. Alrighty, and here we are. I finally finished all of it. Let's go up here and see from a bit of a distance how it looks. It's... Yeah, it's really cool, huh? Let's go down a little and see it from a bit closer up. So you can see here that, uh, first of all, it's really tall. <laughs> and second of all, it has these nice holes where you can actually go through it. But mainly it blocks off mobs and such. Um, lastly, I need to do the top, and I need to add the torches, right? And I need to torch up this area as well. Yeah, this is awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Oh my god, there's a creeper here. There's a second one. Good god! What the hell? Awesome, it's really bright. Uh, it's just that it's full of monsters everywhere. That's really good. For the first episode, this is like a pilot episode. Episode is zero. Episode zero, man. <laughs> With that said, I think that's it for this episode. Um, so what we did is I showed you the world. And we built this really, really big um, cobblestone wall, which I'm really happy with. Um, going forward, I think what next episode I'll be doing is working a bit on the 20 
11 area. Um, maybe, I don't know, working on uh, something else. And then I have a project planned. Now, I don't plan on finishing a project every episode, but I do plan on starting one at least, you know, and then continuing them off camera. But there's still a lot of stuff to be done. So, ah, oh, perfect time to start raining. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Hope to see you next time. And remember to subscribe because, you know, it helps me out. So yeah, see you next episode. Goodbye.